Hello everyone. Hope you find yourself having a great day. I've got a little piece of software I want to share with you guys. Uh, this isn't a tutorial of any sort, but uh, it is something that you'll find very beneficial. If you look at my desktop, I've got an icon up here. looks like a polar bear called Deep Freeze, a program called Deep Freeze. And in my system tray down here, I've got another icon uh, that uh, represents a control for a Deep Freeze. Now, what is Deep Freeze? Well, I pull up the website Pharonix at pharonix.com. They have a product called Deep Freeze. And what it does is, uh, I've been using it probably going on four years now, and uh, they have an actual program that you can install and uh, issue programs over your network or distribute them amongst your employees or something of that nature. Basically, it locks your computer down. Now, let's say that... Uh, you do a lot of experimentation, you install software, you uninstall it. Over time, you end up with lots of junk left behind. And as a result, your computer obviously is going to slow down. You can uh, mess things up. You can delete stuff. You can change registry keys. And before you know it, you've just trashed your system. Well, back in the day, uh, I played with, played with viruses to some degree, uh, manipulated them, and, and experimented with uh understanding how they work and in many cases you need to infect your machine to uh, see exactly what they're doing um, so anyway I've outgrown that and um, now I just want a reliable computer and so what deep freeze will do for you is it will lock your computer down to the point that you can do whatever you want you don't even need to run an antivirus you don't have to worry about malware you don't have to run uh, any registry cleaners or any, any kind of thing. It, it locks you down so you're safe and secure um, providing you do these few things. Whenever you install a new piece of software, install it in a state that your computer's frozen to see if you have any adverse effects like any malware, any pop-ups, any sort of infection, any anything of that nature. Do it in a frozen state. And well, what do I mean frozen? Well, you see this icon, when it's white, that means my computer's frozen. Any changes I make to my C drive whatsoever, it, I can go through my computer and my C drive, and I can go through here and I can delete anything. I can anything that I can that will allow me to delete. I can delete it. I can corrupt it. I can replace it. I can override it. Doesn't matter. I can do whatever I want. I can go and install all these pop-ups and uh, get get my system as infected and nasty as possible now all I have to do is reboot and when I come back in it's just as fresh and pristine as it could be so you won't even have to run an antivirus when you have your computer locked down with deep freeze but when you want to install a piece of software you need to be in a thawed state and thawed is not frozen and how would I do that well I would shift double click this icon and I get prompted with a screen to enter my password and at this point, because I'm frozen, if I wanted to install some software, let's say I'm going to upgrade uh, Adobe Photoshop from CS5 to CS6. If I did it when I'm in a frozen state, next time I reboot, it's all going to be gone. It's going to be back to the way that it was before. So I would need to thaw my system, tell it, uh, uh, apply and reboot or enter OK. And the next time I reboot, I would come in and it would have a little red X on here indicating that I'm thawed. Now, when I'm thawed, I can do my installation. I can make changes. Uh, for example, uh, let's say I want this icon here, all right? And I want this icon here. I need to do that in a thawed state. So when I reboot and I come back in and I'm thawed, I get myself set up. And after I've made all my changes, I go back into Deep Freeze and tell it to boot frozen. Once I do that, enter OK and reboot. When I reboot back into my system, everything, these icons, the wallpaper, anything that I've got is going to be locked down to that state that I froze it. And so for that purpose, Deep Freeze is awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a copy. Now, this isn't the full program. It, it is fully functional. It's just not one that you can create and distribute amongst the network where everybody's got their own password and all that kind of thing. I'll put an address in the description below where you can download it. It's a zip file, and in that zip file, um, there's a folder called Deep Freeze. I'll drag it on the desktop here. And in that folder, Deep Freeze, you've got the Deep Freeze program. So get your computer set up just the way you want it. 
run this deep freeze program and then reboot and it's going to be you'll be locked down and you'll have this uh, polar bear icon in your tray if for some reason you don't see it click this little arrow here under customize and tell it to always show the deep freeze utility icon and notification so if you don't see it down here remember to modify this so that you can see that icon and uh, the password you'll need a password when you shift double click remember to access that to fall and freeze shift and double click that icon and the password is going to be deep freeze it's going to be the same name as that program so anytime you freeze it you need to go in here and freeze it passwords deep freeze and when you need to thaw it the password is deep freeze so I hope this helps I'm guarantee you, you'll love it and uh, you won't here, here's my suggestion is completely format your machine install your operating system install all the updates install all the service packs install all your programs tweak it out just how you want it uh, get everything just perfect uh, avoid any malware, avoid any spyware, do all this while you're uh, fro you know, thawed, obviously. And once you get everything just how you like it, freeze it. Reboot and come back in, you won't see a problem. I've been running this same uh, desktop setup here for probably three and a half years without an antivirus, without a problem. One, You'll run it till your hard drive fails, put it that way. You won't have a single problem. You won't have any downtime. Um, you know, I, I, like I said, I could go into my computer and delete program files. I could go in and jack up the registry every way, which way you could, mess it up. All, and all I got to do is reboot and it's right back to perfect. So, hope this helps. Talk to you later. Bye bye.